the social contract discussion. It promotes two-way conversation as you discuss you and what you want to do. Because after all, it's all about you. The purpose is for supervisors and employees to have a meaningful conversation that extends beyond performance. The conversation should be conducted in April and October, but separate from DP map discussions. It's October, and Sally's supervisor has just completed her DP map mid-year discussions with her employees. She's now preparing for the social contract discussions. She sent the discussion guide to her staff one week before the meeting to allow them time to review and to consider their development areas and ways they can contribute to the team. Way to go, Sally. Emily employee is the first to stop in for her social contract discussion. Let's listen in as they begin. Hi, Emily, how are you? I'm doing great, Sally. It's great to talk to you about the social contract. It gave me an opportunity to think about my career and the resources I have available to help me develop and improve. That's awesome, Emily. The social contract allows us to have a two-way conversation that will help me help you succeed as an employee. So, let's start by talking about the DLA strategic plan and the DLA land and maritime way. Let's talk about both of our roles and responsibilities. Sally and Emily are both actively listening, taking notes and providing feedback, and showing mutual respect. Sally. Emily shares with Sally her desire to become a level one mentor, but did not have an interest in participating on any councils or associations this year. But maybe next year. Emily also wants to participate in the wellness and fitness program and has completed the appropriate form. Way to go, Emily. Sally shares with Emily her experience as a mentor. She also reminds Sally to correctly record her fitness leave in Eagle. Let's catch up or should I say slow things down and see where they are now. Leave in Eagle. So Emily, you've completed your annual telework agreement in ETM. How is teleworking going for you? Well, it is challenging trying to work with the many computer issues we'll experience every day, but I do like teleworking. By the way, I really like using Skype for communicating. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Yes, because it's quick and in my face, and I tend to respond sooner rather than later. You know, Emily, some of your coworkers are not comfortable using Skype. Can you partner with me to do some mini Skype training sessions during our next team meeting? Sure, that is a great idea. I'll prepare some information for you to review next week. Great. I'm looking forward to learning more about Skype myself. Um, in addition to Skype, I also prefer talking on the phone if the information you need to share with me is lengthy or may need clarification. I too prefer talking by phone in some cases. That way I can get your immediate feedback and or clear up any misunderstandings quickly. By the way, do you need a government iPhone for your phone calls? Um, no, not at this time, but I may consider it later. Is there anything else you need to help you succeed in a virtual workplace? Mm, I can't think of anything else right now, but I'll let you know if I need your help. Now that was a very productive conversation about telework. Sally and Emily discussed their preferred communication methods. As you heard, Emily prefers to communicate by Skype and would like to communicate by phone only if she needs clarification. Also, Sally and Emily agreed to partner in getting the team up to speed on using Skype. Way to go, Sally and Emily. So what's next? So Emily, what can I do better as your supervisor? Well, Sally, it would be helpful to have this type of discussion more often throughout the year. Emily, if you ever need to talk, just let me know. My door is always open. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Now, Sally, what can I do better as an employee? You see. Sally and Emily conclude the discussion by signing the social contract. Note that an employee's signature does not necessarily indicate concurrence, but rather that they both discuss the topics in the guide. Emily, thank you for your time. I'll file this electronically and send you a copy. If there's anything I can do to assist you, please don't hesitate to see me. Thank you, Sally, and I'll keep you updated as I make progress or if I run into any roadblocks. So there you have it. Emily left with a renewed sense of enthusiasm and excitement about her future career here at DLA Land and Maritime, and Sally also felt a sense of achievement and accomplishment. The Social Contract Discussion Guide. 
It promotes two-way conversation as you discuss you and what you want to do. Because after all, it's all about you.